I recently visited the deepest lake of Central America, Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. I've been seeing pictures of it for years and just thought to myself, this looks almost too perfect for real life. Now that I've visited in person, I can say that it's one of the most unique destinations I've ever been to. Lake Atitlan is a high altitude body of water surrounded by steep mountains, Mayan villages, and three volcanoes. You can visit the towns around the lake via public or private boats, public being the more common and affordable option. Each town has its own distinct charm and personality. Some are lively with lots of activities and entertainment, while others are more secluded and laid back. But no matter where I found myself during this trip, I just couldn't stop taking pictures of the lake. It was overwhelmingly beautiful at all times of the day, at sunrise, under the peak afternoon sun, and at sunset when the pink skies loomed over the towering mountains. Every angle of this lake looked like a painting. So if you're coming here, make sure you have extra memory space on your camera, or don't, so you can stay present in every moment here and feel the magic that exists at Lake Atilan. We're here, we are checked into our lovely Airbnb. This is a villa that's pretty much perched on top of a hill overlooking the majestic Lake Atitlan. We decided to stay in the town of Panamachal. There's a bunch of towns around the lake that you can stay in, but this one is the most convenient given that we're here for only a few days. We wanted to be in a place where there are markets, restaurants, and pretty much all that we need. But luckily the villa that we're staying in is kind of in a private area. It was about a 10 minute tuk tuk right away from like the major street. So it still feels very peaceful up here. I'll link the Airbnb down below. But basically, once we got into town, we were super hungry, so we dropped our bags off with the Airbnb host, and then we walked to get some food. We had churrasco, which is basically like a barbecue plate, and it was so delicious. We saw the woman there making corn tortillas, and tortillas are the staple food here. They were so fresh, so good. And after that, we walked to a nearby cafe to get some coffee. I desperately needed an espresso because I was getting super tired. And it was very, very exciting to get my first coffee in Guatemala because Guatemala is so known for coffee. The cafe was new, it only opened about two months ago, so if you're ever here, go support them. They were super nice. We don't have much time left in the day, so we're actually going to just go to a nearby town, not by boat, but by tuk-tuk, just to walk around and check it out before sunset. But before we do that, let me show you guys a quick tour of the villa. One day I will be brave enough to do it. With only an hour left of sunlight in the day, we quickly hopped on a tuk-tuk and made our way south. After about three minutes, the driver stopped at a hilltop deck so that we could take in our first view of the lake. And it was so beautiful. We saw locals sitting there, chatting and laughing, drinking beer, making it seem like a cool locals only hangout spot. Then we made our way to the colorfully painted town of Santa Catarina Polopo. This town is deeply rooted in Mayan cultural identity and most residents are Cacchaquel. Traditionally, the people here relied mainly on farming and agriculture to survive, but began struggling as the economy grew, prices of everything went up and tourism stayed extremely stagnant. In 2017, a community mission was born to paint most buildings in bright colors and eye-catching designs in hopes of attracting more visitors and increasing tourism. As we walked around, we noticed women weaving traditional dresses with a lot of Mayan designs and colors. The colors are bright, bold, and vibrant, very much like the buildings here. There was also a street where you can find other textiles, crafts, and souvenirs. We walked slowly along that street and found ourselves at the dock just as the sun was setting. We joined the others in this picture-perfect moment, looking out at the pink skies, the backdrop of the majestic mountains, and the boats rocking softly to the tides. We 
are here back in town. We're gonna have some pizza and pasta for dinner. Originally, we wanted to go to a Mexican restaurant, but it's closed, so our Tuk Tuk driver recommended this place. Seems to be really popular. And we got an extra large pizza so that we can bring some back home for a snack whenever we're hungry at night. today because I booked us a sunrise hike. I don't remember the last time I was up this early for something like this. Actually, that's a lie. I think we did this in the Philippines. So I don't know why I'm doing this again. But here we are, 3 a.m. We have a boat that's going to take us to the hiking point today at 4. So let's Let's do this and go see some beautiful things. Andres. Andres, yes. Ah, okay. Necesitas una chumba, pero yo tengo una chumba pequeña. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Gracias. Oh, maybe it'll work. Let's see. Heading to Santa Cruz. It's not very far from where we are right now, but that's where the hiking is. Okay. But the time is approximately uh, for one hour and a half we arrived there, or some time for dogs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe oh, there yeah. are. Health center. It's going to be steep again. Mayan priest. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, uh, here uh, come uh, sometimes come Mayan priest okay. for for Mayan ceremony. Oh, ceremony. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For business, for 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 love. They hike all the way up here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Catholic people come here too for for how do you say for for pray mm -hmm. pray here mm -hmm. pray here and uh, Catholic people and sometimes. Uh, Evangelic, evangelic too. Mm. Okay. During during the day uh, is uh, ayuno, uh, fasting or how say wake wakefulness. Mm -hmm, wakefulness. Uh, vigilia in okay. Spanish is vigilia on okay. night. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the people come here. Mm. Yeah, but this place is is holy holy place. Holy place. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Antonio. Oh. Here is Santiago. There. Mm -hmm. and here is San Pedro. Oh my god, this is going to be so epic. It was worth it. Yes, it's cold up here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. <sighs> We've completed the hike. Andrew and I are back at the house here. Um, the organizer of the tour also rents out her space. So this is like a homestay. So you could stay here for a night and see what it's like to live with 
them. Andrew and I are about to do a temescal and a temescal is basically a traditional Mayan sauna. It's a very spiritual ceremony for them. They do it when they give birth and then when they give birth their kids do it like right when they're born you can do it when you're sick you can do it as a celebratory thing it's very very important to them and everyone that's part of this mind community uses it and it's a very core part of their culture oh okay oh it's hot just take a Hold water. Okay. Oh, sí, sí. Y entonces, eso lo puedes con el cuerpo. Ah. Ajá, sí. Entonces, yo les dejo. Tengo un jabón. Es jabón, es nuevo. Acabo de abrir. Yellowish color, huh? Because it's been like infused with all the herbs. <sighs> Never have I been more excited to drink coffee after the hike. And look, we have the most gorgeous view of the lake right here. Now we are walking over to the dock to take a public boat over to San Marcos, which I've heard is like a really cute hippie town. And this is actually going to be our first time taking a public boat too, because this morning we took a private boat, which costs us a lot more, but it's because the public boats here operate from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30. And since we were doing a sunrise hike, there weren't any boats available that early. Breathtaking. This nature reserve that we're at does cost 20 kazalas to come. There's multiple things you can do here. There's some trails, there was a lookout as you just saw. There's a trampoline down there so you can actually jump off the water. It's almost like a big park where you can just do anything that you want. You can even spend half a day here and it's really well maintained too. There's bathrooms. Highly recommend coming here if you're in San Marcos. Oh my god. So beautiful here. You can see a bunch of people 
or kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding. It's just the most perfect view. My favorite part of the day, fresh Guatemalan coffee. I got whole grain pancakes with this very, very pretty fruit salad. And then Andrew got uh, eggs, potatoes, and toast. Mm. That at the spot, those pancakes were so fluffy and delicious. I highly recommend this spot for breakfast. Now we're gonna go to an ATM, get some cash out because a lot of things, pretty much the majority of places only accept cash and we need cash for the boats and the tuk-tuks as well. So we're gonna go do that and then head to the dock and then start our day. Really excited for the boat rides because not only do they actually get you somewhere, but they're also really scenic. I wouldn't want to do a hike again, but this is supposedly a 15 minute trail all the way up to a mirador. So I think the view is going to be worth it. At least that's what I'm telling myself. The entrance is a little bit hard to find, but you're going to see a bunch of souvenir shops going up. So just go all the way up when you see it and you're in the right direction. Okay, this viewpoint was worth it because you have on the right side the mountains and then you have on the left side the lake and more mountains. to do the tour but it was gonna be two hours long and it was a little bit costly so I thought maybe we could skip it because Andrew and I have done a couple of coffee tours already so we just decided to come to their cafe and I'm enjoying an iced cappuccino and also a very delicious carrot cake and the views of this cafe are beautiful I'm looking directly out at the mountains and all of the coffee beans that are roasting outside and this place is right in town so you could just walk here The coffee places that use their beans and look is this a vintage blue bottle coffee bag whoa so cool mm -hmm.
this honey is citrus as the like lemon. You I know, these are tiny. They're like miniature bees. They don't say a bee. That's not much infection. The taste honey is bitter flavor. It's infection. Uh, the, the after you pack it. They serve like Mediterranean, Western food, but it isn't even about the food here. It's about this view. to get one last coffee before we hop on a shuttle to go to our next destination. So this is officially our final chance to see this. 